Oh, nandito pala kayo. Maayang aga. It's a bright and sunny day. And all of us are doing a great day to learn new things and acquire a new skill. I am your teacher the center, Mr. Gil C. Sadayano, Tissue 1, Mapa Department of the Past National High School. Still, we need to keep ourselves in a safe area. So, don't go out without your face mask and face shield. As much as possible, we remain ourselves at home and continue to answer our learning tasks for today. So, before we start our new and exciting lesson, let's present first our target goals. Content standards. The learners demonstrate understanding for first aid principles and procedures. Performance standards. The learners perform first aid procedures with accuracy. Learning competencies. At the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to demonstrate proper first aid procedures for common attentional injury. Code H9IS-3G.H-4. Specific objectives. Number one, identify the common unintentional injuries. Number two, identify the proper first aid procedures for common unintentional injuries. Number three, execute proper first aid procedures for common unintentional injuries. I'm shook. What happened to them? The first one is like to the his ankle. The second one has a broken bone. The third one, something blocking his throat. The fourth one, it's hot. She's sweating too much. The fifth one have a skin deformities. The sixth one is experiencing a heart burn. The seventh one, we must save him. Who are we going to call? Yes, first aider. So, our lesson for today is basic aid for common unintentional injuries. But before we knew the common unintentional injuries and how you will give them the basic first aid, let's have an overlook in our previous lesson. Overlook Identification Read the questions carefully and choose the best answer on the given choices. Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. Question number one. And the choices are, you have only 5 seconds to know the answer. And the answer is, first aid. Roles of first aid. It is a bridge that falls in the gap between the victim and the physician. It is not intended to compete with or to take place of the services of the physician. It ends when the services of the physician begins. Question number two. And the choices are... You have only five seconds to know the answer. And the answer is... Vital sign. The act of taking vital signs normally entails recording by the temperature, pulse rate and heart rate, blood pressure and respiratory rate. Question number 3. And the choices are... You only have 5 seconds to know the answer. And the answer is... Primary Survey. Primary survey, check for consciousness, open the airways, check for breathing, check for circulation. Question number four. And the choices are, you only have five seconds to know the answer. And the answer is, secondary survey. Secondary survey includes history taking, checking for vital sign. Question number 5. And the choices are You only have 5 seconds to know the answer. And the answer is Wounds. 
Example of wounds are punctures, abrasion, incision, laceration, and avulsion. So we are done reviewing. Let's go to our main topic. Did you see the video? Some of you right now are trying to figure out what is happening to them. But I have one question. I know ang yung nakikita problema. Here's the answer of one of my students in grade 10 digital during her grade 9 years. Basa sa video ang aking napanood, ang nakikita kong problema ay mga hindi inaasang pangyayari sa mga tao kagaya ng pananakit ng chan, pagsusuka, pagkahilo at iba pa. Makikita rin sa video kung paano ang tamang paraan ng paunang luna sa sarili o sa iba. Thank you, Ms. Dimas. How about you? I hope you have the same answer with Ms. Dimas. Now, we're going to talk about the different intentional injuries. Let's think deeper. Activity number one. What is the condition? Given the following pictures, you will identify the following conditions of each picture by selecting other given choices. Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. You have only five seconds to know the answer. Are you ready? Picture number one. And the answer is food poisoning. Food poisoning is caused by consuming food or drinks that is contaminated with bacteria and viruses. Picture number two. And the answer is spraying. Sprain is an injury to the ligaments of the bone due to accidental tearing or overstretching. Picture number three. And the answer is choking. Choking, a result with a foreign object blocks the throat. Picture number four. And the answer is strain. Strain is an injury to the muscles which is a result of improper use of the muscle. Picture number five. And the answer is stroke. Stroke, a condition in which the blood supply to a part of the brain is suddenly and seriously impaired by blood clot or ruptured blood vessels. Picture number six. And the answer is burns. Burns are often due to domestic incidents such as touching, a hot iron, or friction in rope, or spilling boiling water on the skin. Picture number seven. And the answer is drowning. Drowning happens when air can get into the lungs because of water. It can cause immediate death when taken for granted. Picture number 8. And the answer is heart attack. is caused by a sudden obstruction of blood supply to the part of the heart muscles. Picture number 9. And the answer is heat exhaustion. Heat exhaustion is caused by loss of salt and water due to excessively high temperature. This may lead to heat stroke, even death. Picture number 10. And the answer is 
this location. This location is a partial or complete displacement of the bones. Picture number 11. And the answer is fracture. Fracture is a break or crack in a bone. An open fracture pierces the skin surface, while in closed fracture, the skin above is intact. Tooth poisoning. Strain. Choking. Strain. Choke. Burns. Drowning. Heart attack. Heat exhaustion. Dislocation. Fracture. This following injury is what we call unintentional injury. Injuries that are unplanned and typically preventable. Proper safety precautions are should follow. My insight. At this point, this is not my insight on a particular question. I asked my learners in grade 10 on how they answered these particular questions during their grade 9 years. You may answer also based on your own understanding and analysis. You may write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. Are you ready? Question number 1. How will you identify if the person is experiencing a specific unintentional injury? One of my grade 10 learners answered like this. The person may experience an unintentional specific injury if he or she is being hindered to do his or her basic daily routines. This may include walking, running, drinking, breathing, laying down, sitting, and many other things. You can also notice the unusual things he or she suddenly does like limping, vomiting, heavily breathing, losing the ability to walk, or losing his or her balance. In which case, any knowledgeable person nearby may seek immediate rescue or help and perform first aid upon the victim. Thank you, Mr. Hoover. How about you? This is my second question. What types of first aid procedure will you do if the person is experiencing unintentional injury? One of my great learners learner answered like this. There are various kinds of unintentional injuries, thus why there are also different procedures for first aid. For example, the most common one that happens to a lot of people is a sprained ankle. The first aid procedure that I would follow in order to treat this injury is step one. I would rest the injured part in a comfortable position. Step two, I will ice the injured part using a cold pack as soon as possible for a solid 15 to 20 minutes. Step three, I will compress the injured part with an elastic wrap or bondage. The last step is to elevate the injured area above your heart whenever possible to help prevent or limit swelling. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Refugio. How about you? This is my third question. How would you execute a proper way to treat a person with strain injury? One of my grade and learner answered like this. To execute a proper way to treat a person with a strain injury, first, make sure the person stops the activity right away. Second, Use the RICE or RICE solution for the first 48 hours after the injury. The letter R stands for rest. Rest the injured part until it's less painful. I stands for ice. Wrap an ice pack or cold compress in a towel and place over the injured part immediately. Continue for no more than 20 minutes at a time and 4 to 8 times a day. C stands for compression. Support the injured part with an elastic compression bandage for at least two days. And E stands for elevation. Raise the injured part above heart level to decrease swelling. And lastly, give the person an ibuprofen or acetaminophen for pain and swelling. 
Thank you, my dear students in Great Ten Digital, Mr. J.C. Ray Clemente Hover, Mr. Wermar Rufugio, and Ms. Evita Mundihar. It's nice to see such a hard-working students awarded for his dedication and hard work. Remember, as a first aider, you need to be vigilant at all times. Did you hear that? Something is coming. Let's look over there. There is something happening to the other side. Activity number two, immediate solution. Given the following unintentional injuries, what is the best thing a first aider can do? Choose your answer between the two medicinal kits. Write your letter on the correct answer on a separate sheet of paper. Are you ready? You have only 15 seconds to know the answer. Number 1. Brain. And these are the two choices. You have only 15 seconds to know the answer. And the answer is letter A. Number 2. Fracture. These are the two choices. You have only 15 seconds to know the answer. And the answer is letter A. Number 3. Drowning. These are the two choices. You have only 15 seconds to know the answer. And the correct answer is letter B. Number 4. Heat exhaustion. These are the two choices. You have only 15 seconds to know the answer. And the answer is letter B. Number 5. Choking. These are the two choices. You have only 15 seconds to know the answer. And the answer is letter B. Oh, there you are, my dear learners. Activity number three, I'm a first aider. It could be an individual or group test with maximum of five persons. Choose one an intentional injury and conduct a first aid procedures using your mobile phone and editing skills. Make a maximum of three minute video on how to treat an intentional injury using first aid procedures. You may refer your work on different videos such as instructions in YouTube as reference to your work. Rating scale number one, key points on how to treat an intentional injury using first aid procedure, 50 points. Number two, organization of video with creativity, 25 points. Number three, presented with descriptions and instructions, 25 points. Number four, overall score, 100 points. I give you only two weeks to finish your output as an individual or as a group. This output will consider as your performance task in health. You may send your work via Messenger or Gmail. I hope you will enjoy your task for today. Pagbahagi ng iyong salopin sa mga sakuna at trahedya na nangyayari sa ating buhay, number one, bakit kailangan marunong tayo mag-first aid? Number two, ano-ano ang magandang may dudulot kung marunong tayo mag-first aid? Maaari mong ilagana ang inyong sabot sa malinis sa papel. 
Dalawa sa mga isadyante ko sa grade 10 ay sumagot ng ganito. Para sa oras ng panganib o sa kuna meron tayong kaalaman sa paggamit ng first aid kit at para makasagip o makasalba tayo ng buhay na nangangailangan ng tulong. Maraming salamat. Question number 2. Ano-ano ang magandang maidudulot kung marunong tayong mag-first aid? Mga magagandang maidudulot kung marunong tayong mag-first aid. Una, makasalba ito ng buhay ng tao. Pangalawa, maaari nitong mabawasan ang bilang ng mga aksidente. Pangatlo, mapapanatili tayong ligtas. At panghuli, binibigyan tayo nito ng lakas ng loob at kalinawan kapag may emergency. Jack Pilatulinia, Justin Bibit, maraming salamat sa pabahagi ng inyong saloobin sa mga tanong. Kayo, ano ang inyong saloobin? Complete the given sentences. The following intentional injuries are One of our students in grade 10 answered like this. The following unintentional injuries are food poisoning, sprain, choking, strain, stroke, burns, groaning, dislocation, and fracture. Thank you. As a first aider, I must... As a first aider, I must know how to execute the proper ways on how to first aid a person to save his or her life from an imminent danger. Thank you. Jude Tolentino, thank you for completing the sentences. How about you? Your final examination, know the problem. Given the first aid procedures, identify the intentional injury being discussed. Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. Remember, you have only 10 seconds to know the answer. Are you ready? Number 1. These are the two choices. You have only 10 seconds to know the answer. And the answer is true. Number 2. These are the two choices. You have only 10 seconds to know the answer. And the answer is a heart attack. Number three. These are the two choices. You have only 10 seconds to know the answer. And the answer is train. Number 4. These are the two choices. You have only 10 seconds to know the answer. And the answer is food poisoning. Number 5. These are the two choices. You have only 10 seconds to know the answer. And the answer is this location. If you have any question, you can message me to my messenger account. Those students did not meet the following activity, I'll give you an alternative activity and go. Respondent, either shot. Using your mobile phone or any camera devices, take a shot of yourself in conducting first aid procedure to your family or relatives. 
send your amazing picture to your messenger or email. Congratulations, my dear learners! I hope you've learned something valuable lessons for today. Working hard is important, but there is something that matters even more. Believing in yourself. To my students, Jessel Demo, Jackie Latoria, J.C. Hover, Justin Vive, Wherry Fabio, Jude Torrentino, Evita Mondiar, thank you very much. Again, this is your teacher presenter, Mr. Felix C. Samiliano, Teacher 1, Mabe Department of the Past National High School. Thank you and God bless.